42 students at a high school in the Leander ISD have been asked to quarantine after potentially being exposed to COVID-19. A mother of one of those students says her daughter's cheerleading teammates aren't following quarantine restrictions and are potentially exposing others in the community. KXAN education reporter Alex Capriello found out who's responsible for making sure the rules are followed. As a team, they're supposed to represent the community. The mom I spoke to asked me to keep her anonymous. She's afraid the entire cheerleading team will turn against her daughter. She says their family is the only one taking the two-week quarantine seriously. They all think that this you just can't go to school. They just think the quarantine is you just can't go to school, that nothing else matters. What does it really mean to you to quarantine? You will stay home, not be around anybody, not go to school, not go to work, stay home for 14 days. She says kids are still socializing with each other, and some are even going to work in public places. But they were all just put at risk. And the risk was serious, but to them it doesn't even matter. She shared the guidelines the district provided to her and to all the families when they were told to quarantine on Monday. The instructions are clear. Stay home for 14 days, keep away from others, and monitor health. Who do you think should be held accountable for making sure they quarantine properly? The parents and the coaches, because they're the ones in charge of the girls, and they should be making sure that the kids are following the rules and following the instructions. The district is asking for students to cooperate, saying it planned out these quarantine protocols for months. By following them, the district says students can slow the spread of the virus. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. The district also says students who test positive for COVID-19 are required to provide a doctor's release before returning to school.